man, this place is starting to turn into a real place to call home. Yeah, it sure is. A lot of hard work went into making it this way. That's for sure. Yeah, I hear that. Who knew living in a zombie apocalypse would be so damn hard, right? Yeah, you ain't kidding about that. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I don't even remember how long it took to do all this, to be honest. So dang tired all the time. So enough talk about the present. We should share what we were before all this. Talking about the times where we didn't have to worry about someone eating your face off might be good for us to take our minds off the hell we are living in now. So Paul, what did you used to do before all this? Ah, well, I used to be a janitor at high school. I know, I know. What a great career, right? <laughs> hey now, there's nothing wrong with that job. The world needs people to keep it clean or all we'd have is a world full of dirt, grime, and trash. Your job is just as important as anyone else's as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Hey, what's that for? Sorry, toots. But I don't think a damn janitor is important as anyone else's job. The way you're making it sound, trying to say that he's just as important as a firefighter, soldier, or a cop, and that's bullshit. Any dumbass can push a mop around, but not everyone can do those other jobs. Wow, you're one of those people, huh? Thinking you're better than everyone else? Julia, that's all right. Don't worry about what he says. Yeah, ignore the truth, Paul. Real good leadership qualities with this one, folks. I'm not ignoring anything. I'm just choosing not to listen to a grown man who chooses to act like a child and chime in on something he knows nothing about. Now you listen here, you son of a- No, you listen! For your information, I used to be a cop before I was a janitor. And let me tell you, I've seen my fair share. The whole reason I became a janitor in the first place was because I was wounded during a standoff with a suspect. Guy was wanted for breaking and entering. We had him cornered, and we didn't realize he had a gun. We both opened fire, but we weren't fast enough. He died instantly, but unfortunately his bullet grazed right by my spine, hitting it just enough to where I couldn't feel my damn legs. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. As you see, I'm up walking again. And that's because of years of physical therapy. After I learned to walk again, I knew I could never put myself through that again. Wandering every day, when I got out of bed if it would be my last. But, I guess I ended up getting that anyway. So next time you want to go, spout your mouth off. Be sure you have all the facts and know what you're talking about before you start insulting someone. Huh. <laughs> asshole. Man, that guy's such an asshole. Eh, I expected that. I mean, he attacked me and I put him on his ass. He'll get over it, or he won't. I don't even know why I decided to take him in. I guess I figured there isn't too many of us left. Every living person is a resource. Hopefully he'll come around and realize we're just trying to help him. And anyone out there that needs our help. But if he doesn't come around, and he tries anything, I'll take care of it personally. I'll keep a watchful eye on him and make sure he doesn't try anything. If he does, I'll definitely let you know. Thank you, Julie. I really do appreciate that. Hey, it's no problem, Paul. It's the least I can do for the man who saved my life. <laughs> So, would you like to know what I did before all this? <laughs> sure, why not? I was a doctor. Really? That's really great. With us getting attacked all the time, we could sure use those skills around here, that's for damn sure. And I'll gladly help anyone I can that needs my help. Oh, I know you will. You're a cool chick, Julia. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, it is I, SniperMan109, and today we are back with another episode of Survivalist Invisible String. Last episode, we built ourselves a workbench. We have a workbench, and we also recruited Riley, one of the newest group members of our group, Riley Treveno. And he's kind of an a-hole, as you guys seen last episode. And this episode, he's not, he's a bandit, he just... He seems like he hates the world. He was on his own. And, you know, this apocalypse clearly has turned him sour. So we're just going to have to worry about him a little bit to see who knows what uh, might become of him, our new group member. But this episode, we're going to be focusing on being under attack, I guess. Okay. Well, we're under attack right off the jump. Let me just climb in here. All right. Um. Oh, okay. 
We could use some spikes. I think I'm. That's what I'm gonna work on is traps. I got a Molotov. I can take him out. I think I'll do that right now. Matter of fact. Alright, we have three out there. It looks like. That appears to have done absolutely nothing. Alright, well, I'm gonna focus on just... Oh, yeah, look at that blood. Look at that blood. I, how did I miss? It was red. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Alright, screw it. We're gonna go around. Alright, they're gonna come running at us. That's it. That's to be expected. Take out his legs. Take it out of the leg. That one's legs. He's crippled. And he's crippled. Okay. Now, it's our turn. Where's that axe? There it is. Take him out. See, once you get these guys crippled, man, they're just, they're so easy. We, I don't, you can easily take them care of them. And hey, it looks like we got, there's some orange dots over there. Are those refugees? All right, well, I don't know who they are. I and mean, Hopefully they're traitors. Because we don't have a radio, so I don't know who these people are. They are traitors. Awesome. Okay, so we have a traitor group that came. Cool. All right, her name is... Hey, you look like a smart guy. Let's see what you got. All right. What's up? All right, let's see. Uh, let's trade supplies. How about that? All right. Carrot seeds. I'll buy those. How much gold do we have? 302. We're, we're solid. I'm a skin rabbit. I will take that. Any more food? Because we're going to need food, you know, coming the winter winter months. Sealed container. I'll always take that. Another hunting. No. Nah, we can afford it. We'll take it. Hunting knife would be good. And yeah, that's that. What are, let's see what these guys have. Most likely... Oh, hey! I'll take that. I know that was a pistol, but I don't want it. That's why I always check these guys, because sometimes they carry food as well. So never leave no stone unturned when it comes to extra food and supplies. So this episode, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to... All can be opened by friends. I don't want these guys in here, but they're going to come in anyway. So now that that's open, I'm going to have them gather some wood. And I'm going to work on building spike traps at the edge of our walls. Because spike traps will really help us keep down on the horde problem. All right, so we're going to start by putting spike traps right here. And you can do this. I don't know why I got that out. You can do this by equipping a shovel. And then you can use click the dig option. Left click. And then you can dig pitfall trap. And we're going to... Oh, man, that would have been a perfect place to put one. How about right here? Okay, because zombies usually run through this area. Yeah, all right, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to build them all throughout here. Because zombies like to run through this area, so it's perfect. We can attract them this way. And I wish I could dig one here, but sadly I cannot, it appears. So that really sucks. But we're going to go ahead and dig on here. Uh, every, everywhere we have a watchtower, I'm going to be digging some pitfall traps. And they're only one wood each, so I mean, they're really you know inexpensive to make. All you need is a shovel, and they will keep down on your horde problem. And, you know, and you, all you have to do is set, like, if you have a idle survivor around your camp, just set them into a, a trapper roll, and that'll be perfect for it. And they'll go around, and they'll uh, reset traps and stuff like that when, they, when they're used. Oh, yeah. Just got that rabbit. That was perfect. I snuck out around the rock. He didn't expect a thing. That was great. Okay, so I'm still in the middle of building these traps, but I seen that rabbit, and I had to get it. So, yeah. Just wanted to throw that in there. All right, we got our first round of spike traps built. As you can see, they're all placed in the ground for unsuspecting people to come by or zombies to come by and trip and fall on them. I think another, I do want to focus on building another watchtower and I think I'll build one right here as a matter of fact. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to focus on digging another one. Can we flatten the ground here? Okay, we're going to dig some more pitfall traps right in here. I think this might be a good area. Or I might place the watchtower here. Now here seems like a better place. So we'll place three here. Cool, we can put one there. And then, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Are we out of wood? We are. Okay. We're going to hurry up and get some wood. I know, I know, Paul is super tired. But it's a tireless, it's a, you know, it's a thank, thankless job being the leader of a group of survivors in the apocalypse. It's really hard work and it's taking a toll on Paul's psyche a little bit. He's getting a little tired and sleepy. But he knows that building this community, he knew it was a challenge from the get-go. So he now has so he now has to put up with the, t the sleepless nights and the worrisome troubles of being a leader. But he's willing and able to do that. No, 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 no. As I say that, as he walks to go to sleep, he's like, I'm done. I quit for the day. Okay, there. The traps are up. And now we're going to place some more utmost by our gate. Now, I am going to be kind of worried about this because traitors might accidentally trigger them because they can. What is going on? Uh oh, these traitors are in trouble. Oh crap, we need help. Oh. Uh oh. 
Oh my god. Oh shit! Alright. Time to put these new traps to good use. Riley, do not. Do not open that gate. See, even when it says can be opened by friends except when under attack, they still open it for some reason. I don't know why. I have to go always closed or they will open it. So that's... Uh, that must be a bug or something. I don't know. But let's test out our new traps. Yeah, come on over here. Come on over here. Oh, he's crippled. I crippled him. Well, here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if our little traps work. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Why aren't they working? Yeah, what? Yeah, we'll just have to come over here, you know, to get them to get them to follow us. And they'll work because they're not it's precisely where they needed to be. So they're not going to work. All right, we got more. The traders, the poor traders that we just traded with, they are infected. They're over there. There they are. We might get some good, well, at least we get some good stuff out of it. It's still sad. I mean, they still took the time to trade with us and help us out. Okay, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Before we lure them over here, let me go ahead and reset these traps. Reset trap. Reset trap. After. Uh, let, me, let me reset the trap. There we go. Perfect. All right, traps are reset. Now we're going to lure them over here. All right, here she comes. Stand right here. Dead. Like I said, these traps are freaking amazing. All right, here they come. Oh no, what am I gonna do? They're hot on my trail. Oh, oh! Hordes are no problem anymore. See, that's why I love these traps. They insta-kill them. And literally, all you gotta do is, that brown bar is the health bar, and every time you reset it, it loses it. it loses a little bit of health. And then eventually, after you're done, after they break, you can just replace them. After that, you can uh, bring out another piece of wood to fix them. So I mean, like I said, they're very low maintenance and uh, they're very helpful. So look at all this stuff we got. Excuse me, twenty bullets, nail sniper rifle. Are you serious? No thanks. A SWAT top. The SWAT armor I will take. And the trader's backpack. That's better than the backpack we have, I believe. No, we already got a trader's bag on. We do. We already got one. And blood pack bandages we could definitely take, and then you know, I hate I hate looting their corpses, but I mean it's it's not like they're gonna be using it anymore, you know. No offense. All right, let's see what else do you guys have? And then I mean we got armor for our soldiers, so that's great. We got more pistol ammo. Look at all this stuff. But yeah, they usually don't make it very long, uh, you know, because all these white strain zombies are too hard to kill. What we really need is a radio so we can see when these freaking hordes are coming. That'll really help me out so I can get people inside before they come. Alright. Next thing we're going to work on, we're going to work on another watchtower. So we can have multiple eyes in different directions. And uh, we can lure zombies to our pitfall trap so they can die instantly. And we already have the wood to do it, so we're going to do it right now. Whip out the toolbox. Scroll down. And let's find a watchtower. Build watchtower. Beautiful. Basically, what I'm doing is, is I'm just, you know, trying to uh, improve our base. Oh, it's gonna look, it's gonna look horrible. I'm just gonna move the walls if I can. What was that? All I'm trying to do at this point is just improve our base. If you're out there, what? Are there raiders near our base? There are. We got raid. Oh, just. We were just freaking zombies just came. All right, you guys have no business out here. All is where it's at, okay? We got freaking raiders, guys. And I got a Molotov, and I'm not afraid to use it. Get wrecked. You. Please don't kill me, he says. You're going to work for me from now on. Fine, I guess I have no choice. Jaden Newman. We have a new guy. Hello, Jaden. Welcome to the crew, buddy. Are you useful? Whoa, man! Take it easy! I surrender! That's a smart move on your part. Alright, you got two choices. Either join us and contribute to what we're doing here, or I'll do to you like I did your friend over there. Alright, alright! I'll join! Okay then, welcome to our group. What's your name, son? J J Jaden, sir. Alright, Jaden. My name's Paul. I'm the leader here. Nice to meet you. Well, all things considered. So, Jaden? You have any skills? Well, uh, I used to be a chef before all this. Ah, I see. Well, I know just the job for you then. Follow me. Okay. It's 
got the same color helmet I do. Cooking. We got another cook. We got another cook. I'm doing the cook dance. And we have another farmer, potential farmer. That construction's all right. That firearm skill and that archery. He can be a guard. Yeah, he can be a guard. I don't know. He's useful. I like this. I like this. Okay. Jaden. We have a new guy that kind of hates us all and, you know, you know, despise us. I mean, we did kill his friend, but uh, she asked for it. They attacked us first. It is what it is at this point. Welcome, Jaden. Welcome. This could be bad, though, because... That could be two people conspiring against us because Riley doesn't like us, and then this guy doesn't like us for one. So, I mean, hey, it's what it is, is what it is. What's up, man? If you get a little extra, be it, Bianca. You just got here. You can't say anything about Bianca. All right, let's see. Uh, I suppose let's wait. Oh man, we're sleep deprivation. Oh, I gotta give. I gotta give Paul rest. Paul, forget it. We're gonna let what's his face. We're gonna let what's his face take over because he seems like he can build stuff. First, give him a trader's backpack, give him all the wood, and then give him the toolbox. We're gonna put him to work. He just attacked us. That's the least he can do is, is do this. Paul Peterson is building that building. I can't take over. Cancel. Well, we essentially just lost two wood. It's no big deal. Or no, I can take over. Cool. Okay. Yeah, make him do some work around here. So Jaden, he's a uh, he's decent at, at carpentry, and he's gonna be helping us out around here, building up our defenses, getting some wood. He says, "All right, good deal." We're gonna play as him for a minute. We'll let Paul rest, get some well-deserved rest. All right. So he basically scared Jaden into submission, and now Jaden's trying to work, and he promises he promises to do best that he can to prove that he will join. But will he? That remains to be seen. Just like Riley. Riley doesn't, he has a, I don't give a damn attitude. This guy, he kind of seems like, you know, he was forced into the role of being a bandit, so. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. Alright, let's see, what else? So we got two watchtowers. We got one here, one there, and I think we need one by our gate. I did say I wanted to put one here, so we're going to build another one. This is definitely a base building episode, for real. Full on. All right, let's find that watchtower. There it is. Put one right here because I did say I wanted one here. All right, let's build another one. We got plenty of wood to do it too. Oh yeah, or we should. Eh, we're gonna be short a little bit. I'm gonna have them go out and gather some more wood. Though. Another thing I'd like to, you know, next next summer, I'd like to. Or no, we're not gonna be short. We're in good shape. Next summer, I'd like to plant some carrots and we're gonna make some rabbit traps because them rabbit traps, man, you guys were right. Rabbit traps, they work really freaking well. They're very good. You can get rabbits left and right using those. Oh crap. Okay, so one of my traps, as I said, just killed one of these traders on accident. And this other trader is angry now trying to kill me. What the hell? So, uh, uh, self-defense, I guess. That was self-defense. I forgot to I forgot to warn them that we had traps. Oh man, sorry. Yeah, we had some more traders come. Man, these traders. I'm gonna have to start playing. Another one bites the dust. These trailers or these traders keep coming. They keep dying every time they come trade with us. And the rest of that they can keep. Man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Sorry about that one. Okay, so this is what our base looks like for right now. I've tried to give, uh, matter of fact, I actually tried to give Jaden a couple of gifts and he appreciated them. Kind of smooth soothed things over, maybe. Kind of make him a little more comfortable here. And it seems to have worked. Uh, I think he likes them. And we're, we're going to ask him what he thinks about us. You push me around. I'll never forgive you. Please don't hurt me. I'll do whatever you want. Okay. Well, let's see how he's feeling. I'm not doing too great. Even though we gave him the gifts, he's still not doing too great. We're just gonna have to, we got some zombies outside. Let me go ahead and lock this. Always closed. Oh, chase me, chase me. Over here. Over here. Oh, we got some raiders. Raiders on top of it. This ought to be interesting. Oh, the zombies are going for them. Oh, one just fell on our trap. Oh my god, this is great. Let's see. Let's watch them fight for their lives. Let's see if they can handle them. I'm not going to interfere. Look at that other one. He's just standing over there letting his partner die. Look at that. He's like, yeah, yeah, you got this. You got this. Oh, he just slipped. Oh, 
dead. They turned. Oh, he's by himself now. You should have joined in when you had the chance. He's about to get bit. Any moment. There it is. And then his partner just gets up. And, okay, he's dead. And now they're feasting on his corpse. Wow. Silly raiders. Survivings for kids. Or adults. Or I don't know. So I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, they're all zombies now. Yeah. Come over here. All of my traps. All right, we killed three. I'll lure the rest to the other traps. There you go. I told you. These traps are amazing. Okay, Julia is no... Since even how Julia is no longer the chef, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I'm going to make Julia our new trapper. So we're going to have to set zone for her now. Set zone big enough that, so she can come and reset traps. Set zone. All right. Now we're going to make her the trapper. There. Now she's going to go around and reset them so we don't have to. All right. Let's go ahead and undo this. I'm going to go search those raider bodies. Can we seriously? There's still a zombie over there. We still got a white strain zombie. We're going to have to go take care of it. Looters? Did I reset the trap? I was about to say, we better not have looters. Looters are already dead. Okay, all right. Cool. We got we got an extra toolbox. Always use that. Oh, and there goes Julia. Resetting the traps. That's right. Get them ready. Get them ready. These traps were a very good... A, that's a wooden sword. Don't want it. These traps were a very, very good idea to build. They are perfect. There's not really much for us to do, really, during wintertime. We can't really... We only got three days worth of food, so I'm gonna have to probably go hunting some more. I mean, we've been, oh yeah, that's right. This trader has cooking utensils, so that'll boost someone's cooking skill, which is really great. We're taking those for sure. All right. Actually, I wanna go, we're gonna do a little exploring. We're gonna do a little exploring, and we're gonna try to find, we're gonna go in this area and see what's in here, because this is a way, really big wide area. And that's a community. I think they were looters, I think. Or you know what? No, we haven't been over this way. This is a big portion of the map we haven't even been to. All right, we're going to go this way, and we're going to see what we can find. Uh, we're on a quest to find a radio so we can see when these freaking hordes are coming at us. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to let Paul rest for a minute, and then we're going to take off. All right, guys, on second thought, I'm not going to loot this freaking town. There's too many damn zombies around here. Look at this. Look at this. We're surrounded. We are completely, utterly surrounded. Yeah, this place is not safe. I'm not looting here. We're going to go on this way and see if we can find something else. That one had a backpack. I'd really like to check them out, and I think I will. I'm going to sneak around and try not to attract the attention of the others. Because that one might actually be carrying a radio. Because it could be, you know, could have been like an undead traitor or something. Well... I guess I can't with as many as are around here. I can't really do that. Because if one... I mean, we just don't have the stamina. Like, if we... If our fatigue was lower, I would do it. I, I think I could handle myself, but... Our fatigue is way too low for that right now. I, I so desperately... Like, I desperately want a radio. Like, you guys have no idea. Alright, so I found some wood in a car. And I have a couple of matches. We're gonna have to make ourselves a fire. And do something about our fatigue because we're not going to get anything done the way we are. We gotta get ourselves warm. We gotta dry out. Here we go. And yes, this puts us a bigger bigger target on our back, but I mean, it's better than what we're doing right now. Oh yeah. That's helping already. Look at it. Who knew a campfire would help, right? This is perfect. Okay, I we're going to spend all night, we're going to recuperating, and then we're going to go deeper this way. And this is a community that they were raiders. So I'm tempted to go there and like stash my gold here, but it, it, there's no point. They'll take everything if I come back. All right, it's morning time. And we're being attacked. Nice. What a great way to start off the morning. You know, just in case we got to do this again, I'm actually going to take some of this wood with us. It might be a good idea. I'll take three pieces in case we need to make more fires, which I'm sure we might have to. All right. Yeah, it's negative 12 degrees Celsius, so pretty freaking cold out here, and we're sitting in early winter right now. 
So we're gonna have to really hope hope that we can. Uh, how are people doing at the base community? Oh my god, the food. Our food situation. I'm gonna have to find a radio or just get back and just give up on this whole thing. But we're gonna do a little searching and then after that I'm gonna bring back some of the food that I found. Oh, speaking of food, there's a rabbit over there. There's a freaking rabbit. If we could nail that, that would be great because I've already killed a couple. I think. Yeah, I've already killed two, so that would help us out right there. Okay, where did it go? Did that freaking zombie scare it off? Probably did. Hopefully it's off here in the trees. Oh, don't want that. Can I get a radio, please? There's a rabbit. Can't hit it while it's running. There's no point. No point. I've tried many times. Oh, we got some chips. Yeah, I mean, I got plenty of food to bring back. Or rabbits, you know. Th that'll feed us for a good bit. Especially if I can get this one wherever it went. There it is. Over there. Something keeps freaking scaring them. We're, there's one right in front of me, and I don't see it. There it is. Come on, a little closer. Oh, I can hit it right there. Fantastic! She's got a gun! Hold the hell up. What's happening here? Blood loss. What the hell is going on? Who's got a gun? Oh. Alright. Let's go ahead and use a blood pack. I know I got him. Holy shit. Holy shit. Julia, what the hell are you doing? See, this AI is so freaking... Get inside, everyone. Riley will handle this. Get in. Alright, let me check on Julia. She's still bleeding. Oh my gosh. Rip that. Rip it. Did you rip it? Rip. Alright, you have a gun. Alright. Freaking raider. Yeah, I got a gun. Get out of here. Oh my god. What is she doing? Why isn't she healing herself? Okay, there. Get inside if you're not gonna help. Oh my god, you idiot! She pushed me down the damn- no. Oh, I'm pissed. Okay. Yeah, where's the raider? Julia, you're an idiot. Get inside! Inside the house! God! AI. We're under attack. No shit. Where are they at? Have they left? Have they gone for good? I hope so. I didn't even realize this crap was going on. I didn't realize people were getting shot. There's one right there. Oh, great. Intoxication. I picked the wrong guy to try to defend our town. He's freaking drunk. Oh, my God. Run for your life! Holy shit! They're right on our tail! Get in! Oh, that raider in the back! That raider in the back's getting her ass ate up by those zombies! Oh my god! Okay, everyone! Julia! What are you doing back outside? Get in! I don't trust the AI in this game. I just don't. They make weird decisions. Get inside! Look at how many damn zombies there are! Oh my word! They come on this way. Oh, great. Well, that's not gonna work. Look at that! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Where do they all come from? And that raider in the back, she's done for. And that's the one I was concerned about. I think she's running with him now. She's running with the pack. She's one of them. All right, here's the deal. We got any... Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Molotov cocktail. 
Where are the matches? Where are the matches? Please tell me we have matches here. You're fucking serious. We don't have matches! Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to shoot him until... Um... She's still alive? Not anymore! She did some damage. Looks like. Yeah, yeah, this is so fun. This is so fun. Oh my. Wow. And we're all the way over there. Well, hey, look. The zombies really aren't that big of a threat. They're just more like guard dogs at this point, keeping raiders away. So, yeah, everything should be fine at base, hopefully. And we're just gonna... We're gonna continue... Oh, there's a rabbit right there. We're just gonna come back. We're not gonna, we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna hunt this rabbit down, and then we're gonna come back. Because there's clearly a lot of mayhem going on. Alright, do the old flank -aroo. Do the old don't look at me a -roo. Do the old where is it, I can't aim at it a -roo. Literally, where is the rabbit? N -n -n no! You little bastard! Come back here! You know what? Fine! 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 You know what? Oh, okay, alright, I'm angry. Sniper is angry! Alright, forget it! Forget it. We're going back home. I'm done. I'm not even concerned about it anymore. We're going back home. And I don't know why I have all of our community's matches. That was my fault. I'm an idiot for that. Alright, guys, we're finally back. And I killed, like, I don't know, maybe 8 or 11 or 12 zombies? Let's just go out and look at how many there are out here. So they all ran around, and uh, here they all are in this pit. They're freaking everywhere. I don't know where the looter lady went. I would have liked to have seen where she was. She might have had a radio on her, and that would have been fantastic. But the undead horde is finally dead, and I'm fully dead now, and I'm glad for it. Okay, guys. I think... You know, to kind of further our development. I think we did pretty good. This was a good base building episode. We got some more watchtowers up. We got our watchtowers. We got some traps built to kind of cut back on how tedious the hordes are. So I think we're doing good in that aspect. All right. Let's see. All right, he's over here. Yo. Here, I got you some more alcohol. You're welcome. Here, have another one. All right, and then let's see. Ask him what's up. Bianca Boyd would leave us without a second thought. This guy talks a lot of shit. Anyway, all right. Here, quit talking crap about Bianca and uh, take these rabbits. Start cooking and doing your job. How about that? So, like I said, before the apocalypse, some of these people... You know, they were just like your regular... I mean, they were all your regular everyday people. But now, I'm sure they're doing a lot of things that they never thought they would have to, to do to survive in this cruel world. Oh, good. Great. Excellent. More zombies. Just what the doctor ordered! Can you guys stop moving, please? I'm gonna bring them over here. To the watchtower. And we can't shoot them. Because of the wall. So this watchtower is kind of pointless. I'm going to have to break those walls and build some more. If I even can. Alright. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to hurriedly reset these. Reset. Because if I get them all reset, I can literally bring them all around here. And these traps will take... The, the traps will do the rest. Alright. I reset them all. Let's do this. Oh, man. Oh, shit! They're coming, boy! Dead, dead. Okay, they're dead. That was a few. There's more. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh! All right, the traps did it. They killed them, and we are freezing to death. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm in the episode here. 
Uh, next episode, we're going to be focusing on planting because I'm going to play out the rest of wintertime, personally. Hold up. Who is that? Who are you? Who are you? Oh! Looking to trade uh, a refugee. She's a refugee. I'll buy that food off you. We need as much as we can. Well, we're already starving at this point. I'm not taking on a refugee. Sorry, lady. Not happening. I would gladly have taken her on, but it's just we're, we're already in a bad spot as it is. So I'm going to play out the rest of winter time and get us to at least spring. Because, look, we're sitting in early winter right now. And I'm going to, you know, slowly gather some rabbits, all that tedious stuff. I'm not going to build onto the base or anything. I'm just going to gather rabbits and whatnot. And we're going to focus on the, um, more uh, base building slash farming stuff next episode. So we can, you know, build more houses and grow our community. And make it bigger and stronger than it is right now. But I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please snipe that like button and subscribe for more. And don't forget to click that bell icon when you see when I post more videos like this. If you'd like to support me financially, please head on down in the description. Click my Ko-Fi link. And you can support me with a one-time donation, or you can become a member, and you can support me monthly. Either or will help me tremendously. And if you'd like to chat with me and others who support the channel, my Discord link is also in the description below. Click that, come over there and chat with us sometime. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Peace!